All right guys, what's going on? Today I want to address the second stimulus checks, stimulus negotiations, and a new stimulus proposal that was just introduced. Now, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you have an incredible weekend, but let's get into the second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Currently, there is very little happening and very little hopes of a full stimulus package passing through Congress before the election. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said today, we have been in a challenging period, regretfully. I can't tell you today we're going to get there. I wish I could tell you we were going to get another package, but it doesn't look that good right now. That was what he said earlier today. Now, this doesn't mean that nothing will get done. Based on reports from the White House, President Trump's team is currently looking into an executive order that would pay, that would give stimulus checks to the American people. It would provide and extend unemployment enhancement. It would also fix the payroll tax deferral program, and it would provide some funding for airlines. That is currently what's going on. The bad news about this good news is that most people expect this to stay somewhat, somewhat silenced until after Congress goes on break. And so they depart uh, in the early part of October. I believe they start October 2nd, and that is only three weeks from today. So as of right now, the good news is President Trump and his team are working on something. The bad news is it will have to wait about three weeks. He and his team, based on reports, do not want to do something while Congress is in session. Now, for the good news rega regarding this good news, Democrats don't want President Trump doing another executive order because that would provide an additional stimulus, that would provide more stimulus checks, and that would make Democrats look bad. It would also improve President Trump's voting numbers. So, as of right now, Democrats do not want that, and they will do anything to avoid it. That means if President Trump were to do another executive order, Democrats would most likely try to block this. They will do some type of lawsuit, or if this happens, if they can prevent this before, what they would do is probably do another stimulus package. So it is because of this that some experts predict that Democrats will negotiate in good faith in order to pass something else through the House one last time prior to their October recess. That's really good news. I know you may not think so right now. However, that's really good news that many people are predicting that the House will do something. They did something today and a Republican did something inside the House and I'll explain that in just a minute. However, if this happens, uh, look for a handful of Republicans to be on board. I say this because if something gets passed through the House, then it doesn't necessarily get passed through the Senate. The Senate is majority uh, Republican. So because of that, as long as you have the 40, 47 uh, Democrats inside the Senate, two independents, okay, you would only need about, let's say, a third of Republicans, maybe a fourth of all Republicans to pass this as long as Democrats are on board and then it would pass through the Senate as well. And as long as there's stimulus checks, I guarantee you President Trump is going to sign it. Now, more good news for today. Currently, President Trump, he issued an executive order that deferred payroll taxes of 6.2% through the end of the year. But that's a payroll tax deferral, which means it has to be paid back. Many businesses are calling this payroll tax deferral a nice idea, but it's too complicated, way too confusing, so they will not participate in it. Even the House of Representatives stated today they will not participate in this tax deferral program that President Trump issued. This is where this news comes, this bill, this new bill comes in. Kevin Brady, he's a Republican uh, from Texas and he's also part of the House of Representatives. He proposed a new bill to Congress today. This bill is called the Support for Workers, Families and Social Securities Act would provide a real payroll tax holiday. Let me explain. And the best part about this bill is this also includes a provision inside the bill where the money not taken for this payroll tax 
would actually be borrowed. The money would not be taken out of the Social Security Trust Fund. The money would be borrowed from the general fund to pay the Social Security Trust Fund. So all of you people on Social Security, don't worry, this bill would not defund Social Security. This is great news because I know a lot of people who are currently on Social Security are worried and they see the writing on the wall that eventually their Social Security benefits will ultimately get slashed. That is not the way that Kevin Brady has proposed this bill. He does not want to end Social Security. He just wants to provide an additional payroll tax to those people that are currently working. Now, the one problem is if you're not working, okay, if you're retired, if uh, for whatever reason you do not have a job, you're unemployed, this payroll tax would not benefit you. Now, I did mention this in a few videos, uh, multiple videos over the past couple of weeks, that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are completely against passing any standalone bill. However, they're not against passing a standalone bill when it comes to the post office. Now, I wonder what that's all about because to me, you pass a standalone bill for the post office, but then you immediately say, we don't wanna do any piecemeal approach that just doesn't make much sense. Now, right now, there's a lot of writing um, on what Democrats in the House are willing to do. Now, I say this because there's there's a lot writing on what Democrats are, are willing to do or want to do or will even consider doing, but we know that the Senate doesn't have enough up their sleeves to get anything done. This was proven yesterday when the skinny bill that was proposed by Republicans was blocked by Democrats inside the Senate. We all saw this coming. We knew it was gonna happen, but Senate Republicans decided to vote on this bill anyway. Now, here's what I can tell you moving forward. We only have two options. Option number one is to wait and see what Congress passes and what they're willing to give the American people. And that's something that we have seen over months and months of nothing happening. We see our priorities. We see their priorities and where we fall on that list. Our other option moving forward is to give ourselves an economic boost by creating some type of side hustle, some type of side income to provide you some extra income. Now I talk about this all the time. If you don't know what kind of side hustle, what kind of side income you can create, then all you have to do, I'll put a link, multiple links to videos down in the description box below. Go and check those out. I will provide a bunch of different videos so that you can see what kind of online business you could do, you can make some money from, and you can actually be successful with. Now, the reason for making this video today, this afternoon, was simple. I wanted to make sure that you guys understand that the House and the Senate are both going to be working. It doesn't seem like they are. It seems like they're taking a lot more time off than anybody else. However, they are working. They are looking at things behind closed doors. Hopefully they're talking. As of right now, nobody knows really what's gonna happen. But what I can tell you is, they will hopefully continue to work on this over the next couple of weeks. Like I said, we have three weeks. We only have three weeks until they go back on break. So. They need to get something done now. So there you guys go. That is your second stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and stimulus negotiation news for later in the evening on Friday, September 11th. If you have any questions regarding stimulus, all you gotta do, ask your questions down in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching. Do me a favor, go ahead, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys on the next one.